Tonight, live from the Metrodome in Minneapolis, the latest chapter in the life of our hero, Floyd of Rosedale. Yes, a pig. His story began in 1935 when the governors of Iowa and Minnesota, Clyde Herring and Floyd Olson, wagered a championship hog on the outcome of a football game. It's almost 60 years later. Our hero Floyd has changed residence 25 times and racked up more frequent flyer mileage than a pig knows what to do with. Tonight, live on News Channel 2, Iowa and Minnesota meet for the 88th time, and once again, the swine is on the line. We look for a repeat performance, maybe from Matt Sherman. It looked great last week Boy. against Northwestern. Boy, he sure did, and uh, what a start he had as a Hawkeye quarterback. I think this game, these uh, two teams are very even, as the point spread indicates, just one point. Uh, Minnesota favored by a point, and the stats are very even on the two teams as you look at the Big Ten stats and where they place offensively and defensively. The only stat where there's some difference is in the turno turnover area of turnovers given up and turnovers gotten, and that is in Minnesota's favor. And in uh, any football game where you get two closely matched teams like this, usually that is the area that determines the game. Here are the skill positions for the Hawkeyes. Cedric Shaw, your running back. Kent Call, the fullback, leads the team in scoring. Harold Jasper caught his 100th career reception last week against Northwestern. He's the split end. Anthony Dean, your flanker. Mark Russell from Monticello is the tight end. The offensive line from left to right. Verba, Purdy, Wiegman, Fakir, and McCullough. Nick Gallery back to punt for the Hawks. Rodney Heath lets it bounce, covers at the five, and a huge hit by Tim Dwight. There's a fumble, touchdown, Hawkeyes. Demo Odoms in the end zone. It's Dwight who caused it. Odom scores, and the Hawkeyes are up six to nothing. And Dwight just simply steamrolled the Minnesota player. Where do you see this one again? Unbelievable. Hayden Fry has had nothing but raves for Dwight during his entire freshman season. There had been speculation in some newspapers that he was a little bit disgruntled about his lack of playing time from scrimmage, but he has been a demon on special teams, and, and he's the one that gives the Hawkeyes the early lead. Well, that's right, and there's Rodney Heath trying to feel that. He just bobbles it. There's some good pressure, but <laughs> wow, there he was, Dwight. You talk about a guy that has intensity. That uh, to Tim Dwight is probably exemplifies that more than anybody that we've seen around for a long time, and he brings the level of play of everybody else on that team up a bit, too. Ryan Hurley, the extra point for the Hawkeyes. It's blocked, uh, has a chance to get through and does. Can you believe that? <laughs> Defensive line for the Hawkeyes, Bill Ennis Inge, John LaFleur, Parker Wildeman leads the team and tackles behind the line of scrimmage, and Jeremy McKinney. The linebackers, John Hartlieb. The Hartlieb era ends, at least until the next generation arrives tonight. And the secondary, Plus Atkins, Marquise Potter, we call them Bo, Pat Boone, and Damian Robinson. Third and two. Lone setback behind Shade is Dawkins. He gets the call the hole. Out past midfield. He could be gone, folks. 25, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Boy, is he explosive. First and 10. Sherman, a long drop. Rolls out of the pocket at the 26. Finds Cedric Shaw. He is out in the open. Past midfield. Cuts back. Inside the 40. Another great block. Inside the 30. And dragged down at the 25-yard line by Crawford Jordan. Big play for the Hawks. First and 10 for the Hawks, 25-yard line. Tavian Banks breaks to the outside. He is in the clear, inside the 10-5. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! A lot of people say the first team to 50 <laughs> points between the Hawkeyes and hey. the Golden Gophers wins, and we just might have that tonight. Sherman, to give us the call. Boy, he's a bruising back. Breaks a bunch of tackles, emerges at the 35-yard line. The Iowa quarterback has only been sacked eight times all season long. This young offensive line has done a great job. The pitch to Shaw, he cannot handle it. Fumble by the Hawkeyes, and the Golden Gophers have recovered. That is Trevor Walker, the defensive end from Lancaster, Ohio. Hit him in the face mask, didn't it? Not a good pitch. Golden Gophers on the 23. Shade to the air, to the end zone, to Osterman. Knocked up, Ooh. or knocked away, but I think there's a flag on the play. Defensive pass interference. We will go the whole 15 yards by rule. First down! 
I tell you what, that's that's an enthusiastic referee if ever I saw one. 15 minutes in the books here at the Metrodome in Minneapolis. Hawkeyes cling to a 14 to 10 lead. Bobby Diaco showing blitz for the Hawks. Shade pump fake drops back even further. Open over the middle is Ryan Fellwell. He's still on his feet. Fellwell inside the 10 yard line, brought down at the seven. Shade to throw, lobs it for the back of the end zone, wide open, Chuck Rios, touchdown Minnesota. And Minnesota has taken the lead with 12 minutes to go in the first half. 17-14, Golden Gophers. Chuck Rios, his first touchdown of the year. Matt Sherman very animated on third and nine at the Gopher 46. Heavy pressure from Minnesota. Sherman poised, hits Shaw, first down, and more. A great spin move on the sidelines. Whoa. Touchdown, Whoa. Hawkeyes. Oh, no. 46-yard beauty. Wow. Let's see it here. He came out from the right side out of that slot back. Watch these moves. Oh, man. Wow. Let, let the pictures speak for themselves, huh? <laughs> That's a thing of beauty there on the sidelines by Shaw. Gives the Hawkeyes a 20 to 17 lead. Make it 21-17. Here's what Iowa has done in 1994. Started the season with wins over the Chippewas and Cyclones and then a five game losing streak just like the 1993 season. They beat Michigan State and Northwestern. They are 2-0-1 in their last three weeks. Always seem to finish strong regardless of their midseason performance through the Hawkeyes. Sherman going long, intended for Dean. A great grab inside Minnesota territory down to the 47-yard line. This kid can pass. It's amazing. I mean, just on the money almost every time. 47-yard line of Minnesota. Sherman to Banks, cuts outside, cuts inside, cuts outside again inside the 40-yard line. That's another first down for Iowa. Close game on the ground. Hawkeyes nearing 100. They just got it with this carry by Kent Call. He keeps moving, breaks out into the open. Wow. They're going backwards, folks. Second and goal at the 17. Cedric Shaw up the middle, gets a lot of it back. And more. Touchdown. Wow. Cedric Shaw needs 27 for 1,000. Something tells me he's going to get it. Wow, some great moves. Whew. PAT is good. Hawkeyes up 28 to 17. Just over two minutes to go in the first half. Mike Kimball with the punt. Tim Dwight has it at the 20 yard line. Cuts back. He's at the 25. Has blockers. Out past midfield. Tim Dwight still in bounds and pushed down at the Minnesota 35 yard line. So it'll be a 23 yard field goal attempt by Brian Hurley. They're going to fake it. This is Todd Romano throwing to Rodney Filer, who makes the catch but can't get in the end zone. That's all right. That's a good play right there. That's Jefferson Bates, excuse me, on the throw. That's Jefferson Bates, the backup quarterback. Yeah. But it didn't work, and that's the end of the first half. Shade to Darkin. Touchdown, Minnesota. They will indeed go for two. Two wide outs either side, including Darkens in the slot on the left. He's the one in motion. Shade in the pocket, lofts it back of the end zone. A great grab by Tutu Atwell. Two-point conversion is good, and we've got a three-point football game. Darkens the lone setback. Shade plays off him and goes deep. Alan Osterman is wide open at the Hawkeye 40-yard line. Jackson in pursuit. He doesn't catch him. Touchdown, Gophers. 32 to 28, Gophers. Minnesota 34-yard line. Split backs behind Sherman. Throws it over the middle. Another wide open receiver, Demo Odoms. He just might score a touchdown. Yes, sir. <laughs> Back and forth it goes. Hawkeyes. Regain the lead. Total of 67 points in this football game. There is still 7 minutes and 12 <laughs> seconds to play in the third quarter. Minnesota's 3 out of 10 in third down conversions here tonight. And they just, ooh, that's a fumble, folks. 
and the Hawkeyes have recovered. George Bennett comes up with the football. Chris Jackson is a Hawkeye that really put the hit on that receiver to pop that ball loose. And as you said, Bennett's back there to fall on the ball. Big turnover for the Hawkeyes here. Shade will throw. Going deep, and Kerry Cooks has an interception for the Hawkeyes. He breaks away from his would-be tackler, Ryan Thelwell, the intended receiver, and takes it inside the 30-yard line. Should be the last play of the third quarter. Yes. Tim Dwight is going to throw it back to Matt Sherman. Touchdown. Oh, Are you kidding me? Oh, oh brother. Oh, brother. How yeah. about them yeah. Hawkeyes? Now, what hasn't twin yeah. Tim Dwight done this season? Yeah. Steve that. Rowe's here now. Steve Rowe, <laughs> the assistant SID. What hasn't he done? <laughs> You're Mr. Stats. He's done it all. I, say, I tell you what, about 20 minutes ago, Mike, I asked you what we're going to see next, and you didn't <laughs> call that one. And we're going to see it again. But here it is, like an end of round. <laughs> Or that wing back coming around. Look at Sherman. He, uh, <laughs> Steve says he hasn't kicked it yet this year. That's coming later. They haven't let him kick it. Needless to say, that is Tim Dwight's first touchdown pass of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Point after good. Uh, uh, I tell you what, we might as well just sign off the air right now. <laughs> no, let's not. We don't know what's coming next. Yeah. Hawkeyes up 42 to 32. We'll be back with the very end of the third quarter right after this. Live Hawkeye football on News Channel 2. Watch this. Hawkeyes up by 10 points. Rashawn Early bringing it back for the Golden Gophers after bobbling. They fumble the football, and Bo Porter has scored a touchdown for Iowa. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> the most devastating play in football. Mick Mulherin caused the fumble. Rashawn Early coughed it up, and Bo Porter scores his second defensive touchdown in two weeks. Jumped on a block punt, and look, that, that look looks all. Oh, that says that's, it all, doesn't it? That's it right there. When it rains, it pours for the Gophers. Here we go. First of all, he doesn't handle the ball real well here, but he gets, gets it there. Let's see the, the good hit. There's Mick. Yep. yep. Porter's there to run it in. Touchdown, Marquise. That was the last play of the third quarter. Hawkeyes can go up by 17 points. BAT. It's good. 49 to 39, our score. 10 minutes, 56 seconds to go as Chris Darkins pulls the Golden Gophers to within 10. We'll be right back. 23 28 yard attempt. Hit the pole. It's good. He <laughs> hit the right, right upright and kicked in. Sure did, Mike. 49 to 42. Just over three minutes to play here at the Metrodome. Live coverage of Hawkeye football on News Channel 2 will return after this break. Oh, here's Batman on the field. I've seen it all. Look at this. Look at this. He's going to get him. He's going to get him. He's, He's at, at the, the 20. 20. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, it's Iowa Batman in for the touchdown. <laughs> uh, see, I told you to do a little play-by-play -play tonight, Ron. Hey, yeah. yeah. We don't encourage that behavior, by the way. Absolutely but not. We are entertained by it. He won't see the end of this ball game. We Mike, Mike, right. Mike Grimm, is he from Manchester? That, that guy? <laughs> I think it is Mike Grimm. <laughs> and what can you say as we wind this one down, other than what a great, great football game by two teams that, you know, they're both down in the second division of the Big Ten. What do they have to gain? Other than let's get the season over with and go home for the, the holidays. But I'll tell you what, you got to take your hats off to the coaching staffs of both of these schools and uh, the players to put forth an effort like this and put on a display of football like they did tonight. 
and the pig pen will remain in Iowa City. Floyd's happy, I know he is. <laughs> He's beaming. We're still over there. This football team will finish their last four games 3-0 oh, and 1. Yep. After a five-game losing streak right in the middle of it all. What a great way to end. Talk about uh, four building blocks for the 1995 season.